Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's up everybody? Anthony from Granddaddy Herbs, back again with another video. I got some tarantulas yesterday. I got two tarantulas to be exact. I got a green bottle blue and a Davis Pentel Lore. And then I'm also gonna show you my Avicularia Versicolor, which has had a name change to Carabina Versicolor. Um, take a look at these enclosures. Uh, take pride in my little enclosures that I got going on here. Very simple, very essential. It's got everything set up to what they need. Um, but yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, here's the first pickup. This is the setup. They're both the same. It's a terrestrial tarantula. It's the green bottle blue. This is actually one of the more common tarantulas in the pet trade. Number one, because of the, look, of the looks. Two, because they're pretty easy to care for. Let's see if I can get you guys better. Gosh, it's really windy out. This is a beautiful tarantula. Super excited about this pickup. And as these get older, they turn very blue on their carapace. And that nice, pretty pattern on its, uh, on its rump tends to fade a little bit. And then the legs will turn a nice, bright blue. It's gonna get hard to get closer than this. Camera's doing a decent job getting the colors. Well, there you have it. And I will show you a picture of one of these as an adult. Okay, the second pickup we have here is a Davis Pentelor, which um, there's actually several names for this Davis Pentelors. There's a lot of confusion with this tarantula in the pet trade, so. We'll be safe and call it a Davis Pentelor for now. But this is a um, Costa Rican slash Guatemalan tiger rump tarantula. It gets its name for, of course, those tiger stripes on its rump. But this snake, I mean the snake, this tarantula will grow up to have nice bright colors as well. Very, very orange colors. And the the tiger stripes will fade slightly, but it should keep it. This is a very um, small tarantula. It gets about four inches. And um, it's the larger of its species, but still a small tarantula in general. But these are known to be pretty skittish as they get older and really good eaters. I actually, when I li first lifted up the, uh, the top of the enclosure, this thing bolted into the, uh, the little cave right here but this thing will web up. Thing will web up. The entire setup, look, and it just it ran away. Just like I said, sorry if I caught you guys off camera, but it's, it's inside there, took off. And these guys do like to burrow. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you my Apicularia versus Color which is a much smaller sling than the last two tarantulas I showed you. And that'll wrap it up for this video. All right, I'm gonna try my best to get you guys some footage of this one. As you can see, it just had its molt just last night. But this is my Avicularia Versicolor, which had a name change to the Carabina Versicolor within the last year or so. A lot of people will still call these Avicularias just because that's been the name for a very long time. But these guys start off as really, really dark blue, and they uh, they end up getting really, really bright blue. And then as adults, they actually get like a a really like cobalt green carapace and a pink rump, along with like pink toes. So these things are also nicknamed the uh, Antilles pink toe tarantula. And I got a really good picture I took of this thing as close up as I could get it that I'll show here in a second. And then I'll also show you guys a picture of the um, the last tarantula up close. 
that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys hope you enjoy um, probably gonna get a few more teas but I'm not gonna go too crazy with teas I know a lot of people say that but it's these things are simply just hobby I don't plan on breeding them anytime soon or maybe not even in the future but I just think these are awesome display animals and they're very inexpensive to keep so that's why I get them it's always Anthony from Granddaddy Herbs. Peace.